What's going on guys? This is Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Today we are taking a look at Makita's 18 volt LXT cutoff wheel. This is going to be the model number XMC01. This is all new from Makita. They finally come out with a cutoff wheel. Milwaukee and DeWalt have had these for a couple of years now. Uh, Milwaukee, of course, has the M12 fuel version. DeWalt came out with, I think, a year or two ago with their um, 20 volt max version. And that one has been getting rave reviews. So this is the kind of the one to compete up against the DeWalt version. Now, one thing I'm kind of, you know, pulling this thing out of the box, I was really confused by this thing because you would think this thing should be able to stand up, right? Like, you know, I put it like this, it should be able to stand no, it doesn't. It actually just likes to fall and actually smack into whatever wheel that you are currently uh, have installed. It's kind of a weird design. I'm not really sure why Makita really designed it like that. It's not really designed to stand up. Also, the guard is not adjustable at all. It's a completely fixed guard. Um, it does have forward and reverse, which is nice. You can, of course, keep the sparks flying away from you. Uh, forward and reverse is very easy right up here. You just clip it either way, and you are good to go. The one thing that I'm not a huge fan of, and I don't know why they did this exactly, is your safety switch is only on the left side. There's no safety switch on the right side. So you're trying to do like one of these with your thumb over here. You have to take your index finger and bring up to hit the safety switch. It's a little kind of an odd design by Makita, and I'm not really sure why they chose to not have a safety switch on both sides. Um, it's probably one thing where I've already done it before, doing a few um, projects with this tool already, where I'm trying to, you know, get with my left hand, hold it with my right hand, and I just can't really, you gotta pull this thing up here pretty far to hit that safety switch there. All right, blade change is quite easy. You do have a hex key right on board as well. Very easy to change. You've always got your button right here that you can press down and then it locks down that blade for you right there. So you can unscrew that knob, no problem. Other than that, it's pretty basic of a cutoff tool. There's not much else going on with this tool really to mention at all. Other than the weirdest fact that, like I said before, it doesn't want to stand up on its own. It's a very strange design, and that's something I just cannot get over. There's not really a good way to put this thing down. Notice on this side, there's no like padding or you know overmold or anything. That's kind of how I've been putting it down almost this entire time now. So kind of strange. Like it's not designed to be set down, but there is no way to have this thing stand up. It's like they can't really make up their mind what they're trying to do here exactly. In the box, they give you three blades. They got more of a multi-material blade for things like epoxy, PVC, you know, just other rough cut stuff. Um, we also have a diamond blade for cutting things like uh, tile, ceramic, and porcelain. And then also a metal cutoff wheel, which is going to be the majority of people are going to be using those wheels. I actually ended up buying a couple on Amazon. They're relatively cheap. Just got this brand, which is nicely reviewed. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be cutting a few pieces of metal off. You know, that's going to be reasonably sized. This thing is a fantastic tool for cutting lots and lots of little metal pieces. I actually just did a cool project with this where I was modifying a computer case to fit in a larger graphics card. I had to cut out some of the disk drive trays there to get this in, and this worked fantastically. All right, so let's make a few cuts here. You got a fresh cutoff wheel on here. Of course, with these tools, you know, they're not necessarily known for being, you know, very, um, you know, quick tools like, a, like an angle grinder, but of course, they are going to get the job done in very tight areas. <laughs> And now this is where I'm trying to change over to my left hand here now. And notice how that safety switch there is kind of fussy to hit. I got to hit my with my index finger. There is no uh, safety switch on my right side here for my thumb to hit. All right, guys, let's swap over to a different blade here. Let's try out the multi-material blade. Also, there is a 10 millimeter, um, basically, bolt on here you can use if you don't want to use the uh, hex key, which is pretty nice because this thing comes off super easy and super quick. So just like that, we are off. There, of course, is a little bit of a uh, piece here that you got to take off. Pull that blade right off, and you can swap it into a newer blade. No problem. It's very quick, very simple here, not much to it. I love Makita's little uh, 3 ace impacts here. They are really nice. 
um, pretty cheap on eBay too. I've got two now because I use them all the time. And uh, you can pick them up for like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. They get them come in uh, black and blue, which is pretty cool. All right, let's try out this multi-material blade now. Uh, I want some wood, of course. It's not really designed for wood, but I'm always something kind of fun to try, you know, cut off a little bit of wood with this thing. Uh, this is, you know, a nice little, I guess you could call it a multi-tool is what I always call these things because um, they're so useful cutting off, you know, just random small stuff. So let's cut this little piece of wood here. It's a little one by two. See how well it does. Just doesn't have the capacity on a little three inch tool to get through um, about a one inch material there, of course. So, always something to be aware of. And there we go. And finally, let's do a quick little tile or stone cut here. I don't have any tile laying around, but I've got this chunk of uh, rock that I found. So, let's see what this thing does on this. like butter like it all right guys well that is the new makita cutoff tool tested here let's see did i use that much battery nope still good on a five amp hour battery here uh, of course with these cutoff tools are not going to use as much power as like something like a full-size grinder uh, but in conclusion guys you know it's a great tool it's super super useful no matter what brand you have milwaukee dewalt makita these tools are phenomenal i've used mine already quite a bit to cut off you know small little metal bits and pieces here and there um, definitely more convenient than breaking out a full-size, you know, angle grinder. Um, these things are pretty quick for most small th things you need to cut off, and they work absolutely amazing. I just feel like Makita could have did, you know, a little bit more, he has R&D with this tool to really, you know, make it shine. Um, not being able to stand up, you know, anyway, I mean, it kind of sits like that. There's not really, like, a good way to, you know, orientate it where it's not touching, you know, just regular plastic. Um, I wish there was a great, you know, like bumper or something or just make this thing balance so it would actually would stay up. You know, that would be fantastic. Uh, but thanks again to Makita and Acme Tools for sending this my way. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link for the Acme Tools. You can buy it now from them in just description below. Um, but yeah, I feel like they're going to make a Gen 2 of this year, probably within the next year or two, make this thing more balanced. Um, it's a fantastic tool. I use it now pretty much all the time, but... I just feel like there's a few things that they really overlooked in this tool that could have made it significantly better. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.